All right, y'all, it's about five to seven. I'm packed up. Slept right there last night. That's my bag. And yeah, got a spring up at the inlet of this lake and the trail is back this way. I'm gonna walk this forest road up to the trail and intersects it instead of bushwhacking back up the ridge that I came down last night. And going over Anderson Pass today and camping on the other side somewhere. It'd be about 800 feet higher than last night, so not too much colder. I did get pretty cold last night and it only got to 50, so a little concerning, but I got more layers I could have put on. I uh, was sleeping in the nude, but yeah, gonna totally stay warmer if I need to. I got a pair of heavier socks I can put on and that kind of thing. But I'm gonna tie my shoes and hit the road. It's a nice piped spring. Just grabbed some water. Been walking probably two miles. Uh, I'm almost back to the trail. Like a half mile or three quarters mile. Back to the trail right at eight o'clock. So it took me an hour to get up this road. So not too bad. I think it goes in to the ledge or maybe up here a little ways. Gotta check the map. Nope, stay on this for a while. There's a trail number for the high line. And it wraps around and then I dip off onto a trail later on. Back to some single track slash no trail. But not on the road anymore. And water should not be an issue from now on. Across several creeks on that uh, road walk. And that's promising. <clears throat> that lake is where I started an hour and 20 minutes ago. I camped. Right there. On the other side, that far left corner. Came all the way across all of those yesterday. That's cool. That's what it looks like now. I think this is Mount Lighty. And I'm above, kind of in an alpine zone, getting above tree line. Just hit the 24 hour mark of being on trail and I'm at 28 miles. So it's pretty good considering the late start yesterday. And this is what it looks like. Pretty awesome. Still some snow over there. Oh, snow. Gobbro Pass with the snow on it there. That's where I'm headed. I'll go right to the right and above that snow. I'm off trail right now. The trail just dipped down in this valley and comes right back up. So I just cut it off. My buddy Jeff sent me a, the uh, Gaia route that he put down when he was out here. And he knows what's up, so he did this as well. So. That's how I need to do it. Beautiful. Sick. Sick. Almost up Gobro Pass. That's the top right around the corner there. That is snow there. This is the scene. 
we'll just Yeah hey, buddy. Top of Gobro Pass. Going off this way now. Awesome. Yep. Always, every time. Dead Man Lake. I'm gonna have some lunch over here. I'm sure there's a campsite somewhere over here in the trees. Trail has been non-existent. And just kind of been looking at landmarks and walking to them. Have some cars every now and then. But yeah. First moose sighting on trail. He's out in the water there, grazing on water plants. You can see his little beard hanging down. It may be a cow, actually. I don't see any antlers. Noise. Actually, I think it's an adolescent and a cow. So I'm gonna have to play this slow and easy. some guys coming from the other way two guys they're gonna scare them they already saw them i waved at them and they were sitting in the shade over there watching them see if they'll spook them hopefully not towards me Still hanging around. She just acted like she's gonna come over here. She came over, like walk 10 feet really quickly. <laughs> Those guys were uh, out elk hunting. That's what the, I saw two guys earlier this morning that were doing that as well. I haven't seen any elk yet, but third moose is almost to Chapita Lake. And about a mile out, half mile actually. Uh, just spooked some white tailed deer and saw two more hunters after I saw those moose. And yeah, there's a trailhead and bathroom and like infrastructure at this Chapita Lake. And I hear vehicles and stuff, so trail magic would be sick. Not counting it, on, not counting on it though, but would be a game changer.
much just going over this pass and camping at a lake on the other side probably about six and a half six six and a half miles away this is north pole pass and it's no joke came from way down by those lakes to start the climb almost up it another 10 minutes probably just met another through hiker older gentleman he's gonna camp at the same lake i am he said he probably won't get there till after dark and passed him he told me he better go first <laughs> yeah almost done with this climb here Summited that thing. Every time I pulled the camera out, it tripped. But anyway, summited North Pole Pass. That's the North Pole, I guess. Ashley National Forest, High Uintas Wilderness. And you can't even see where I came from today. I came from over, way over there, over those mountains a little ways. It's a nice long day. So we got a lot of daylight left. And I think I can see King's Peak right there. Anderson Pass on the shoulder next to it. I've carried a beer this whole way to drink on Anderson Pass. That's my last name, you know. And yeah, it's windy as balls up here, so I'm gonna get down to the uh, down this other side to the lake I'm camping at. My closest lake's where I'm camping. Two huge moose going across the brook over there. Like 26 in on the day. It's gonna be a marathon. Oh shit, there's some deer too. This side of this little brook right here. Nice. I really just broke the camera out to uh, get the sunset. We camp over at this lake over here. And uh, yeah, did a marathon plus and tons of elevation gain and loss. I have no idea how much I'll look once I get settled in, but it was a lot. I'm pretty tired. And I'll be posted up at mile 47 ish 47 something and yeah made me 55 or something to go and i think i can do that in two days so be done on sunday hopefully i'll try to get back to my truck on monday here there's a uh, flex bus out of Park City, which is just south of Hayden Pass. A little ways, definitely hitchable though. And it's 50 bucks. So I might just do that. I look up when I have service, look up the uh, pricing and times and location and all that. I have to get a ride all the way to Vernal and then get off the bus there and hitch up 191 to McKee Draw. What is this? A little bear? 
It's a wolverine. No fucking way. It's a badger or a wolverine. No way. I've never seen one. What? No way. Or, this is a huge porcupine. I don't think so. I think it's a fucking... That's a wolverine. What? No way. Wild, dude. This last 10 minutes has been awesome. <laughs> wow. Sweet old cabin. That's a good one. I'm camping somewhere right here. So, nice. Selected my site a little ways away from that cabin. There was a ton of dead, standing dead over there. So I decided to come over here and keep a windbreak with these trees. The lake is over this. Down the water and then set up and pass out.